I hope you're having an amazing day. I was finishing up my video this morning and then getting it loaded up. So today is Tuesday. Because I try to put them up on Tuesdays and Saturdays. Last Saturday I was busy. So if you saw that video, you would totally understand. It was crazy. But it's starting to calm down. And then I have a little bit of time off from work. Um, this was nice about working in education. You get a little bit of time off between Christmas and New Year's. Uh, going to take off and go to the market. And I wanted to go to Dollar Tree, but um, I think I need to go through a little bit of my bags that I have here to see what's going to fit in and then go figure it out. But I do need to go to the market, so I think I'm off to the market. So, all right. I'm currently at the market with my brother and we are getting a few things and I am on a kick to start um, 75 hard again. And I did lose some weight with it. And recently after my gallbladder surgery, I lost like 13 pounds and I've kept that off, but still not enough, but I gained a lot. But basically I just lost what I gained. <laughs> and so I wanna get, I usually like the hot links with um and then i just put veggies in it so it's almost like a what do they call it not a paleo i forget what they call it whatever kind of diet you know no carbs and um but this is kind of how i ate like 20 years ago and i lost like 30 pounds so i really need to get myself back in shape i feel like drained so anyway all right so let's see what i can find so I like these little box of steamers. These are kind of my favorite. Oh, um, but I like usually just the little boxes, but not with cheese in them, just regular broccoli. So they don't have a lot of that. So I'm gonna see what I can find else. Just have maybe, like that's not a bad one, but it has little potatoes in it. But things like this, where it's just like a veggie and then you add meat to it, perfect for me. So these are the ones that are my favorite. These little steamers in a bag. Woohoo! Found them. All right, so back from the market. Oh, it's been a day. And it's like noon, I think. Is it noon? It's like one o'clock. Um, I was really, really tired. This morning I woke up and I had like, I get it every once in a while. It's like a spot where it's like a blurry vision. And I know it's just strain, probably too many devices. Um, sometimes it's stress, sometimes lack of sleep. I know the doctors told me all kinds of things. Mainly they've told me that it's just because I'm getting older. It is what it is. So um, I'm going to uh, start going through the bags and stuff. Didn't find a whole lot at Dollar Tree that I was interested in to be able to wrap the stuff up in. It's kind of hard to spend money when they're just gonna throw it away <laughs> um so and they don't care what the outside looks like so i'm gonna see what i have i have this basket here full of stuff and then i have some wrapping paper outside again wrapping is not my forte but some of these things are in boxes so it may be kind of easy to do so anyway all right well, I'm going to get started on this, and then I think I'm going to try to take Sadie for a walk this afternoon. I want to start getting in and start moving a little bit more. And Sadie needs it a lot. Um, so, anyway, all right, we're going to, not we're going to, me, I'm not five people. <laughs> I'm going to get started. So, I like have all of these bags that I can go through and see what I can find. Tissue paper and things. So I'm just going to see what I can find in here right now. I do have wrapping paper outside. I have one of those wrapping paper like storage bins. And I know I have some stuff outside. So we'll see what I see what I come up with. So for a while there I thought Christmas was um this weekend. <laughs> I didn't realize it was on Monday. And typically my the, all the kids go on Christmas Eve to the all the the in-laws side of the house of the of, of, the in-laws side of their families. And then, of course, they'll have be, been up late, so they don't like me to show up too early on Christmas Day. So, 
We'll probably do some like late breakfast brunch type thing. Our thing is a Christmas breakfast. That's what I started like when the, my kids were little. So probably like more than 20 years ago, I started Christmas breakfast. My kids love breakfast. Well, actually, I take that back. My son loves breakfast. My daughter, not so much. My youngest son, he did. So, um, yeah, and I like breakfast. But my daughter's okay to eat it at 1 o'clock in the afternoon. Good morning. I hope you're having an amazing day. Yes, I'm wearing the same shirt as yesterday. I figured I'm just going to do a quick workout. It's going to go in the laundry. So, just put it on. Searching on YouTube for some cardio workouts. Look at the first one that pops up. Fit seniors. <laughs> All right, well, here's your sign. Not at Target today, but definitely at Walmart. Here's thinking this is probably be better. Get my hair a little darker. Alright, this is it. off and on right now but um all I did was get a couple of these little shirts uh they're just long sleeve shirts they're five bucks they're really soft they're on the thinner side but I really need something um to cover my shoulder when I go to bed and um I have some two-piece pajamas and stuff and I'll wear the shirts um but I only have a few of them and I just figured I can use my shorts or anything I don't mind wearing shorts in fact, I prefer wearing shorts to bed. I have a lot of pajama shorts and then just long sleeve shirts on top. So most of those I try to find, but it's very hard to find. Pajamas have become very expensive. So I just picked up these shirts and five bucks. Perfect. That's all I need. And I prefer a dark color. That way they're not see-through. Why do people make or these companies make pajamas in super light clothing where you're all see-through? Doesn't even make sense to me. All right, so now I am off to another store, which I probably can't tell you because if the grandkids watch this, they'll know. I can't let them know. All right, I finally made it home. I stopped at the 99 cent store rather than going back to Dollar Tree. Found some little bags. Oh, I think these will work just fine for what I need. And then I found this cute little box. So I thought that was kind of cute, something different. Um, anyway, so I'm going to finish it up, and then I think I am done. Alright, can you believe I'm not done? I am not done. <laughs> I have two more to wrap. I thought I bought enough bags, but no. <laughs> so, I'm going to have to go back. I miscounted somehow. So I'm going to have to get one more bag, and then I have to wrap one big box. I'm very tired, so it'll do it tomorrow. So if you recall in my other video, I got a couple wallets here. I got like this wallet and I got a long wallet. Well, I'm looking at the different items that I have and I decided I wanted something even smaller. This is gonna be perfect for traveling. Um, I'm gonna put the Apple AirTag in here and stick it inside my bag and then it's got one, two, three, four. It's got a little sleeve here. ID. So that one goes in there. And then it's got one more pocket here. So four, five, six, and then the little tiny one in the center. So I think this is probably gonna be perfect. And yes, I have been trying out the base bag. So I have it here. Um, I'm getting used to it. I think everything, since I've been using my other one for so long, I think that it's good, just going to take me a little bit of time to get used to this style again, which I actually had one before and I used to use it for hiking, um, except it was slightly bigger. 
So it's just going to take me a little bit of time to get used to it. It's been nice. What I did notice is that when I lean over, I go to pick up something off the ground, um, the front pocket in here, the stuff comes out. And that's when I had it in the front of me. So I did notice that. Um, so I just have to be careful, which I mean, I guess it would happen with any handbag that has an open pocket, it's gonna happen. So I don't think it's unusual for this bag. It just happens to be, it is what it is. I think I said I'd give a review in this video, right? All right, well, I'll give a review. Today is just Wednesday. Uh, I'm still trying it out, basically. I'm still trying it out. All right, hey, good morning. I hope you're having a great day. All right, I am gonna be showing you my little bae's bag. I know. I'm doing this Saturday morning. I've been, I <laughs> didn't really film the last couple days. It's just been kind of go go. I was still working and um, just kept finishing final things. I finally finished wrapping gifts and going through a lot of different things. I do have to run some errands this afternoon um, and then, but I'm going to go ahead and get this video up. So if you're seeing this, Whatever happens this afternoon, that's on Tuesday's video. <laughs> All right, let's get into this face bag because I think I'm liking it, but there's a couple things that I think could, they could do better. All right, first of all, this is full. I have everything in it, but my little mints and stuff that I like to carry around. And, um, but it is pretty full. I don't have, the only thing that's in here because I realized my eyeglass, my sun, well, it's not eyeglass, sunglasses case is outside and I have prescription sunglasses. So the area that's in here for sunglasses, I have like a, a eyeglass case, but it's not the eyeglass case that I carry. I did have another one that I had on a cruise ship and I literally like got up, I guess to go to the bathroom or something, I can't even remember. We were just in the cruise theater and I just like, it just got caught and it just ripped apart from the clip because it had a little clip and I had it uh, clipped to my my little bandolier thing at the time. And um, oh my gosh, anyway, when I came back, Letty goes, your eyeglass case. And I just went, what? I'd like to get another one of those because I think it would work really well with this where I don't have to carry the eyeglass case inside. But I like a hard case so, um, because you break your prescription sunglasses and you're I'm just screwed screwed all right so right now I have everything kind of full in here oh and I'm gonna talk about um, I, I'm gonna get the stuff out so then I can actually show you um, what I have in here and then also it'll help me get through some of the other areas so first of all the strap is pretty good size um, all I had to do was um, adjust it. I adjusted it all the way to the longest length and it looked okay. And then I went ahead and pulled the little, you know, strap here and it pulled very easily to adjust to my body size. So I think this is good for all sizes is what I'm saying. So whatever you're comfortable wearing. I think in my last video, I had a really dark shirt on, so it's very hard to see, but hopefully you can see it now. It looks pretty good. I like that it's, not too tight but it's it still kind of stays close to the body and um, i had it all the way to its longest and it was way down here i'll put a little clip in it was really long um, so this one it's a little bit better to where uh, i felt that every single time i bent over to pick something up i was dropping stuff out of this front pocket now i don't feel that as much so anyway all right so oh, first of all, if you fill this bag up, this is my first complaint about this bag, um, is that this pocket is not usable in the back. You can't get your hand in there. I can barely get my hand in there right now and I don't even feel like it's that full, but I have my little tiny wallet that I showed in this earlier video and it just barely fits in there. It's pretty tight in there. It's just because the bag is full. So it's not super big. It's very minimalistic. Um, you just need a few essentials. So that's what I have right now is just a few essentials. And um, this is new little wallet. I didn't even put the Apple 
tag in there. Um, the, well, anyway, that's pretty much it. I couldn't get another wallet in there to save my life. So if you don't fill this up the way I do, this would probably be a better wallet. I mean, a better a pocket. Um, but if you wanna have your wallet and safe stuff, your safety item stuff, then you're really gonna look for something on the smaller side for this area. Um, the other thing is it does have the water bottle pouch, but it is difficult to get out if you have the bag full. So just remember that. You can get it out. <laughs> it just becomes very full. And so I don't have a small bottle here to show you, but I mean, they've showed it on, the, on videos on stuff online, but I think it's gonna be based on whatever size bottle that you prefer, if this is actually usable for you. Some people prefer those, you know, great big ones. And I don't. I prefer one that's a little bit on the smaller side. Anyway, I'm gonna tuck this back in here. So it goes back in. If you just put it kind of, get it really down in there flat, then you can get this as flat as possible. If you just kind of tuck it in there, then you're gonna have like a little bulky area. Also, if you're not using the water pouch, um, because obviously the zipper would be open, then you could easily put something else in there, such as this, which is the little bullet. You could put that in there. So, maybe. Oh yeah, you could put it in there. But once you get it in there, then, see? It's just, it's just very difficult. So if you have stuff, you just don't want to put stuff in there that's going to go all the way to the bottom and then you can't get it out. It's a mess. You'd have to pull all the stuff out just to get that item out. So just remember that, that this pocket may not be usable if, or this one, if you're having it really full. I'm going to take stuff out as I go. So on the back here, you can see that it switches. You can switch it. It also on the zipper pulls, it has these little hooks here that you can just, you know, you add stuff to it, you know, you can clip your hat to it. Um, like I said, I had that little sunglass case and I'm thinking I could easily do that. Um, this one would probably be the best one because this one goes side to side. There's two zipper pulls and this one is just one where I could just hang it right there and that would actually be okay. And that actually may loosen up the bag a little bit more. So this big one right here, it has this nice webbing on the side, which I like, so your bag doesn't fall open. Uh, it does have a key fob thing, but I, I use it for the AirPods. So, and it just kind of sits like right on top. Um, I put my case for the air pocket, not the air pocket, I'm getting all confused, <laughs> for the DJI for the pocket camera. <laughs> and so that can just slip right in here, it fits perfectly. And then um, this is my fake eyeglass case, so it's not a Ray-Ban case. The Ray-Ban cases are a little bit bigger, but this gives it to where it's like a hard shell, so it gives you the, it, it, it simulates what I'm trying to say. So, nice. So, so now it's got more usable space. So if you don't put big stuff in there like mine, you could probably get in this pocket pretty easily now. See, my whole hand can go in. Well, that's what I'm saying. It, I mean, you have to just adjust things for what you use it, would use it for. This is how I would use it. So in my case, I would be putting certain things in there that may create to where I cannot use some of the stuff. This one is a soft eyeglass pocket. You could put two sunglasses in there. It's pretty wide. Now I, let's see if I can show this a little closer. There we go. My thing is, is that I, because mine are prescription and if they broke, if I sat on my bag or something and they broke them, that would be terrible. And um, yeah, then I wouldn't have anything. And so I have to keep them in, the, in a hard case. Uh, and then this open area is where I have the sunglass case and the pocket things I just slide that in there and put the little pocket camera in there and that's how I have had it there is also a zipper pocket on this side is it open yes it is and this is a mesh pocket so you could easily put items in there um, I have a larger 
passport wallet. It does fit, but it's tight to get out. If I, um, or if you just had like a little sleeve, this actually fits perfectly in this pocket. Um, I am considering just getting a little sleeve and just being able to pop it down in there. Uh, and I think that may actually be uh, better use of that pocket because it's so small and thin. And I think it is perfect for your passport. Next one is a smaller one in front. Now I currently have my phone in here and the reason I'm showing this is because when I get to the airport every single time, they want you to put your phone away or secure it or something or going through the cruise terminal security or whatever. And so this is a great little pocket just to secure it. I wouldn't put it on the outside for fear it would fall out. Um, I prefer having it on the inside if they just tell you to put your bag down. Um, this way, you know, getting back from excursions and stuff, this is the better place to put it. So, and I have a 15 Pro Max. So I have a pretty good size camera, so it does fit inside there. This is a wallet type. It has three little credit card or ID holders there. Um, if that is all you need to go out on your excursion, um, the only thing that I would say is that you should get one of these RFID cards, um, these little blocking cards, because this is not RFID protected as far as I know and remember reading. Um, I'll clarify if it's different here, but it has three little pockets. And then of course this open pocket. Of course I put my wallet in here and it does fit a bigger wallet than this little one that I have. Um, I have this size too and it fits down in there just fine. See this, it bulks out just a little bit. It will also hold the passport in there as well if you just wanted to throw that in there. The last one is this open pocket here and it does have this little mesh holder inside. Now, when I'm just kind of walking around, um, I can just put my phone right in this little open pocket. It does fit and when it's on your body, shouldn't fall out, but I did notice that when I had it on the longest strap, it would fall and my items would come out. Now, once I tighten it up a little bit, I'm gonna see if that changes. So maybe I'll give an update in like a month or so and see how that goes. This little mesh pocket right here is perfect. Now I have <laughs> my lip products <laughs> in there. Okay, I have four. <laughs> so I have four little lip products in there. Probably don't need that many in there, but these are my, some of the ones that I've been using <laughs> lately, I guess. Who knows? Um, the other thing you could put in there, you could put your little, you could drop your mints down in the front here, but the little pocket, little mesh pocket is good for really small things such as these items that I feel I have to have apparently. So now this is all, everything is out. So I wanted you to see how flat it goes. You could easily just throw this on top in your suitcase if you just wanted to have it for excursions or things like that. Um, nothing too big, too bulky. Uh, this is kind of perfect and, and it'll fit very well. It's very packable item is what I'm saying. So I, all right. So my, my real thought on this is that I'm, I'm liking it. Even though I feel like sometimes I'm not gonna be able to use like a certain thing if I put too much inside of here. Um, the goal is to not put so much in these things, is to keep it very minimal and to keep it easy. So I like the fact that if I open one pocket, I know like the passport's in there. Um, or if they ask for an ID or um, clip my, you know, my, uh, you know, my, cruise ship card to here, you know, for some that'll still allow the little, the punch hole on their cards. Um, Cause I know some don't anymore. I know some don't. Yeah, I mean, clip it here and easy to get back from excursions and stuff. For me, this is the easiest way to be is, um, as you know, from some of the luggage and underseater and things that I've purchased. Um, I like to be hands-free. I like it to be lightweight. I like to, 
uh, be minimal. I don't take a lot of stuff with me anymore. I keep everything very low key. Um, so that's just kind of how I roll. Uh, everybody's going to have their own way of doing things and, um, I, and no one should force somebody to do what works for me may not work for someone else. And I'm not going to tell anybody what to do. If someone asks me a better way to do it, that they'd like to be minimalist, I'm so happy to share that information. But I just find things like this make it easier for me to be able to travel and day-to-day -day life and having things um, to be able to um, make my life easier, basically. And uh, isn't that what it's about? You know, just making it easier. <laughs> I wish my life was easier. <sighs> I always say when I retire, it'll be easier, but I don't think that's true. <laughs> I think shit's gonna always happen. Anyway, so that is the end. I need to edit this video so I can get it up because it is Saturday. And then I can go run my errands because I've got some returns. Yeah, I got some returns. My returns. I gotta get it done. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, go ahead and give it a like and don't forget to subscribe. Take care. Have a great day.